Okay. Here's the first question. Now, now we have a prime minister who clearly has the support of the international community. Yet, many Haitian uh, question is hold on to power and his legitimacy, and they wish to have a new agreement to replace him. Um, my question for you today is: What is the way out? What do you say to those who wish the president, the prime minister, to stay in place? Because there's because of the lack of an alternative. What do you say to these people? Well, um, thank you for having me today. Um, the 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 current situation is a very complex one and uh, very difficult. Uh, the current prime minister is involved in the killing of the 58th president of the country, uh, Mr. Jovenel Moïse, and he was pushed to power um, by the members of the international community who have been uh, behind him for the last uh, eight months. Um, during uh, that time, uh, he was involved in 16 different obstruction of justice um, due to his current status um, with the judicial system and his behavior for the past um, eight months. Um, the current prime minister cannot uh, organize free and fair in the country or reestablish security. Um, if you look at the second paragraph of the designation later, um, of the people involved of the United States and Ambassador Daniel Foot. Uh, it states clearly that the current prime minister is involved in the managing of the things that are being had at the general of security in country. So the, the real question is how to move forward, what's next? Uh, there are um, some of the political involved also in the killing of the president who came up with several arguments and those arguments um, um, called Montana plan and some others are not either uh, the solution. Um, the proposed Montana agreement is is, is an attempted coup by Lara Lass who put forward the former head of the central bank future. These guys were involved in the sling the killing of 93% of the gold reserve of the country is completely corrupt. So we cannot move forward. So that's why I put forward a, a very simple solution. Haiti has 10 um, um, geographic departments. Select one man, one woman per geographic department within civil society, not involved in corruption, not involved in politics. And you have to go down 20 people according to Article 149 of the Constitution, name the Prime Minister and the 18 Minister among those 20 people with a very simple agenda. Reestablish security, organize the referendum on the new Constitution, organize legislative and presidential election, and support an independent investigative judge to make sure that the people who are behind the killing of the President are put in jail. You, uh, Mr. Lucas, you mentioned elections, and according to your proposal, the the main one of the main agenda of of that of this new government will be to organize elections. How realistically can we organize elections this year, or even the following year, when we look at what's happening on the ground? Well, um, remember, as a specialist in political development involved in election, political party buildings and governance in more than 70 countries around the world. I work in Africa, I work in Latin America and the Caribbean, I work in Afghanistan and the Middle East, and I have an extensive experience on helping with um, election in Haiti. I helped with the organization of the referendum in 1980. I helped with the organization of the election in December 1990, um, the, the two run elections in June 1995, um, the presidential election in 1996, uh, 
uh, the local and legislative election present so on. I uh, I wrote um, more than seventy eight uh, pre and post electoral reports um, on this, mm-hmm. and I testified in Congress on the issue. Um, you can reestablish security improvements with the support of Brazil and Mexico, and mm-hmm. organize the election return the country to constitutional order in mm-hmm. less than six months. It's possible. Mm-hmm. Um, that has been done before. Remember, in 2006, we had the situation where the, uh, the James Ponson of President Aristide conducted a vote in Baghdad 1 that killed um, 142 police officers, almost 2,000 people, um, raped more than 800 women, Operation mm-hmm. like that with the event as well in Pakistan is the same thing. Oh, with the support of Brazil, the police was able to reestablish security in less than in the current situation. Ninety five percent percent of the country is secure. Um, the most the, the, the problem area is the metropolitan area of the French meaning Cité Soleil, Martin, Village de Dieu, Qua de Bouquet and Del Marchou. Mm-hmm. Can be established in less than seven weeks. Mm-hmm. Well, so you're saying you're comparing the situation back then to the situation now, and you're thinking that based on that track record, we're going to be able to establish security within less than half a year and conduct proper elections. Am I understanding that right? With the help of Brazil and uh, and uh, what's the other country? Mexico. Again? And Mexico. And, am Mexico. I understanding that right? Mm-hmm. Yes, uh, remember, we have a pretty good picture of um, who are behind the gang. Um, there are five or six oligarchs of the Brazil, um, the two and and probably three or four the political leaders. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, um, the gang, I think there is a pretty good picture um, who, who are behind those gangs, and, and, and it's a matter of capabilities and I think the Haitian National Police with the support of the Brazilian and the Mexican force can get rid of those gangs in less than seven weeks. Okay. Okay. Uh, we understand the people have heard. We will have to see forward the, the fund for that uh, in my evaluation something like that will cost a one hundred million dollars. Okay. And why do you think the international community isn't jumping onto that plan? What's keeping him from it? Because if it sounds so good, and it does sound good to us, why aren't they jumping on? Well, it is not a priority right now. Uh, Eastern Europe, with what happened in Ukraine, uh, the threat mm-hmm. again, Poland, Romania, Latvia, Estonia, um, the move China might make towards Taiwan, those are the priorities of the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's yeah, why right. I think um, if we have a legitimate government um, through bilateral relations, we can directly talk to the Brazilians and Mexicans um, to get the support needed um, for the police and we establish security in less than seven weeks. And election mm-hmm. can be organized in less than six months, six to seven mm-hmm. months. And by mm-hmm. the end of seven months, you will have the 15 uh, first legislature in place and the 59 president and um, putting together um, constitutional order. Um, mm-hmm. It's seven months, no more than that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mr. Lucas, we're going to jump on a different topic, still Haiti. We're going to talk about President Jovenel. As you know, he was brutally assassinated. And and, and and some people doubt that Mr. Jovenel will ever find uh, justice, that Haiti will ever find justice. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the state of, in, in the, of, of the investigation and the state of, of finding justice for Jovenel? Basically, with the support of the head of the UN, um, uh, the international community put um, in government, the people behind the killing of the president. We know that there are several labels um, of people involved um, in the killing of the president. The killing of the president. Um, um, we have um, some Americans involved 
it's a serious day now. Um, if you look at the, the tweet published by one of the killers, John Joel Joseph, on February 6, 2021, he stated that he got orders from the State Department. And we know clearly that the Biden stated previously that President Jovenel was elected for five years. His term in office was ended in 20, February 2022. So clearly, the Biden administration is involved to the killing of the president. The question is, do we have war elements within the U.S. administration that was involved into the killing of the president? That's the first layer. The second layer, we have the oligarchs. They are behind the planning and the financing of the killing. The names coming out for that are uh, Regional Boulos, Dimitri Vob, Jamal Vob, Pasha Vob, Sami Andal, and Mojo Um We have another layer, which is uh, the Colombian mercenary contracted by the company CTU from Florida. Um, they were 26. Most of them have been arrested um, by the people of Haiti and rendered to the Haitian national police and our judicial system. Um, we have the political actors involved into the killing of the president, the current prime minister, who is a member of the party, Mike Ariel Ali, and John Doe, the former senator, as well as Badu Joseph, they are with the political party, Mike. And you have the head of PHTK, um, Michel Martelly, and his brother, Mexico Senemi, that are involved in the killing of the president. So we know that there are several layers. Most of the men involved into the killing are known. Since the oligarchs and the killers are in power, um, for the past eight months, despite the total control they have of the three branches of government, they were not able to stop on the advancement of the investigation. They did um, 16 to 17 obstruction of justice, um, trying to manipulate the judicial system. Don't forget that the judicial branch is also involved into the killing of the president. Um, the two Supreme Judge Courts uh, directly are involved into the killing of the president, Miguel W. Zil and Wendell Cox. And you have complicity within the uh, coup d'appel and tribunal de première instance uh, manipulated by the current minister of justice who is uh, appointed by the oligarch and Ariel Henry. Uh, the current minister of justice was in jail. Um, he did six months in jail for drug dealing, uh, uh, drug trafficking. So all these people, I can say the coalition um, that you have in power right now trying to prevent justice are a coalition of murderers involved in the killing of the president, kidnapping, and some other stuff. So, um, um, I think the, the issue is moving forward, um, despite, despite all the obstruction. Um, we think that there is a serious church who could manage, serious and investigative church who could manage the issue. His name is, mm -hmm. uh, 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 Mathieu Chanlat. Remember when he was appointed back in July, the only that happened to the Lanry in 2018, um, they, they, they killed one of the assistants. Um, that's why it was kind of, if the international community is serious about supporting justice in Haiti, they should ensure that Mathieu Chanlat is appointed and ensure his security. So we can put all those people in jail and ensure in terms that any future president of Haiti will not be killed for the same reason that President Joe Moïse was killed. Remember, he was killed for 10 economic reasons and two political reasons. He was conducting some reforms. Um, the oligarchs, uh, the core of oligarchs, did not like the reform because they could steal any more from the state. That's why they're killing for the 10 um, various reforms in the oil importation area, electricity, um, um, roads, um, um, building roads, and, and other issues like customs where they were stealing, and in the central bank, uh, in the central bank as well. So his reforms um, took away um, 45 billion dollars that the oligarch used to steal from the state. And for those economic reasons, he was killed by the oligarch and their foreign assets. And there are also two political reasons. He was fighting um, to ensure that the election took place and the referendum 
um, um, past September, and as well as he was fighting against systemic racism. Um, as you know, for the past 30 years, the two branches of power, the two branches of government in Haiti was captured by the oligarchs, and he was trying to ensure that the institution went back to the people, and he, he was killed for this political reason. So you're saying that basically with all these people that are involved, uh, are you saying that it it might we still gonna Jovenel still gonna be we still gonna be able to find justice for Jovenel? How we gonna how we gonna overcome the power, the political power or the political will of the prime minister, for example, who you said yourself is involved in in, in the crime? Well, how are we gonna bypass that? According to the killer's plan, they should have put away the investigation 10 days um, after the killing of the president. Because you have this collective refusal of the crime. Um, if you read um, the book uh, Management of Violence, written by the French general who used to work for the UN, Lou Fancar, he stated in his book, says, when you have a collective refusal, of a crime like that in the country for such a long time, it's almost eight months. The next step is uh, uh, the people are going to the people are going to take the street at some point, and, and that will be bad. I think, despite all the uh, efforts to to block justice, we have made some tremendous progress for the past eight months. Um, the the killers are in power, and they are not able to. Um, get rid of the issue on, on top of the wave. So so I think it's a testimony of the resistance of the Haitian people and their commitment to justice. Um, at some point, I think something is coming and the current government will have to go. And, and the best thing that can happen is to ensure a, a good transition with some clean people, um, honest people who can return the country to constitutional order and to cause the investigation um, of the Latifi's is appointed. But at the same time, I know the FBI is investigating um, into the killing of the president. At the same time, the United States in, 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 in the situation is at the same time a church and part of and somehow implicated into the killing because of the statement made by Senator John Joel Gouzet and because the killers used the name of one the US the name of a US institution, the DEA, to conduct the operation to kill the president. So um I think every Asian is looking um particularly to the FBI investigations, but they also remember the famous sentence of President Ronald Reagan, first but very fast. Because you know the process within the DOJ, the Department of Justice of the United States, you might have a, a very comprehensive report from the FBI, from the FBI, the, F, the FBI has I have to submit the report to the Department of Justice, and there is a process there, and you don't know if all the components of the report will be published, because if you go back in 1995, the FBI did an investigation in the, into the killing of the lawyer, Mireille Gouche Bertin, and they clearly identified all the killers, but at that time, it was not in the national interest of the United States. The report was not published. So um, you don't know what will happen even if the FBI concludes its report. That's why I am very supportive of the national investigation. And I am one of the persons I think it would be good for the country to appoint Jewish Matthew like Judge Matthew Shanla is very capable and he um, could wrap up. Is we in less than four months. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mr. 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 Lucas, we're going to end that section with one last question, and then we're going to pass on to uh, the next question. To I believe it's uh, Donald uh, Donnell. Uh, Haiti has been dealing now with armed gangs in the streets of Port-au-Prince. Huh? The previous administrations have failed to bring peace. The current administration seems on the way to do the same thing. What do you think the problem is? Is it a lack of moral volition and a lack of moral uh, of political will? Is it the police force that is inadequate, or do we need to readjust our politics here? What do you say to that? 
Well, the first thing I would say, there is a double standard within the international community dealing with AIDS. Um, it's something we need to analyze. Um, I think if you look at the recent tweet of Jumalisi Cyrus, Cyber, um, it's worth looking at it. Um, the person who are not talking, if you could put uh, your phone on mute, that would be very helpful. Thank you. Um, 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 I think um, when you look, when you talk about insecurity in Haiti, we, we need to go back to the roots. Um, mm -hmm. Insecurity uh -huh. started in '95 when President Aristide dissolved the army. He replaced the army by a bunch of gangs. They were they were the first gang created in Haiti. Um, remember. La Meru, La Mekumachet, La Merat, La Mekadimat, it's where it started. And when Alice had some problem in 2004, um, the only cause of Petionville, the original Bulos, DNP, Vob, Bata, Vob, Jamari, Vob, they took control of those gangs. Since then, the gangs are under the control of the only cause and some of the mass parliamentarians and the world drug trafficking, gangs, and money laundering. So, um, uh, um, to do to do uh, uh, an evaluation and assessment of, of who, who are the actors behind the gangs, it's, it's, it's an easy process. If you go back and read the book available on Amazon.com called Zombie South, um, I think the intelligence unit of the minister um, had uh, uh, a comprehensive assessment who is used uh, in the world of insecurity in Haiti. And those, are, those actors are well known. That's why two minutes ago I told you um, to reinstate the in Haiti because it takes two weeks to come out of political commitment from the international community, the resources, the default of the police. And support from Brazil and, and, and the gang. I don't think President Trump will fail if he is able to combat the gang. He was in the he was undermined by some elements of the international community. For example, when President uh, 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 when President Joe ordered armed cars to support the capabilities of the police in Canada, the Canadian government uh, didn't issue the export license for at least six months. They did that after the killing of the president. Um, yeah. So there is this double talking, double standard between the international community um, that we need to analyze because it play also the role into, uh, into the vibe in Haiti. Um, there is no clear condemnation of the people involved in kidnapping, um, the killing of others. Um, um, the, this double standard for the past uh, eight years has caused um, serious damage to our efforts you know, to build democracy in country. So this issue of security is a huge one, but I think uh, it's a problem we can solve in seven weeks if we can find the resources, um, the political commitment of Brazil and uh, Mexico and uh, support for 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 increasing the the, the capabilities of the police, the Haitian national police. Um, that and can be solved in seven weeks. Uh, ending this section, um, uh, passing it to. Thank you very much for 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 answering those questions thoroughly. Totally. Uh, 